What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Now, as y'all saw by that thumbnail, we got a couple pickups, so I'm gonna jump straight into it because there's a couple other topics after that I want to talk about, which y'all probably saw in the title of the video. But first and foremost, shout out to Levi's, man. I wasn't planning to go in there, but I wanted to go in there because I need some shorts because I got rid of a lot of clothes and uh, yeah, got rid of most of my jean shorts and stuff. So I went in there and checked it out. And basically this is what I picked up. They got some steals and deals in there. If y'all ever at that Nike outlet, go in and hit up Levi's if y'all need jeans. They have some shirts that are cheap and stuff like that. Sometimes you'll find stuff about 40% off. All right, I had a couple miscues right now, guys, but we're gonna go over the Levi pickups. There's not too many, so I'm gonna go through it kind of quick. Plus, uh, yeah, I think I took the tags off of this one because I was gonna wear them. It's a lighter wash jean. Um, they are 34 by 34. So they did fit good. They were a little bit long, but not too worried about that. And uh, they are, what, 502s. These ones were on sale. I think they were like 20 bucks, $21, something like that. So they had a bunch of stuff on a rack, like 40% off. So I was checking that out for sure. And then they had their shorts 40% off. They had, they had a lot of stuff 40% off. So it was pretty good deals. About 20 bucks for, for most stuff. Uh, next item, another pair of jeans right here. These are 32 by 32. They are 502s also, just a regular taper. And you can see that wash right there. Bam. But uh, yeah, I can't really show the jeans. I'm too close, I guess. But you can see the, the kind of, a little bit more for when I go out and stuff like that. But on here it shows it's normally 55. And I ended up getting them for 40% off, I think. Oh, no, you know what? These I bought because my wife bought a pair of jeans and I got them for 40 bucks. Normally, they're 55. So I said, you know what? Let me get a pair since instead of you paying 55 for your jeans, we'll get each one 40 or whatever. But these are some 501 Levi's uh, shorts right here. Nothing too crazy. There's a black denim. I did also get a blue pair of denim, but I did I end up wearing those already. So they're not in this bag anymore. But you can see the original price was 35 bucks. I ended up paying 40% off of that, so it ended up close to 20, I think it was. Was that 35 times? Huh? Gotta do it off the wing. 14 bucks off. Yeah, 20 bucks for a pair of new Levi shorts that it definitely ain't bad. And the next one I got was just kind of a casual wear flannel tee or flannel long sleeve, whatever. And this one, uh was normally 60, it was on sale for 35, and I got 40% off of that. I paid like 20 bucks for that one as well. Nothing crazy, but I like the shirt. And these ones, the graphic tees, I think they had them on sale. They're normally 20 bucks. Let me see if I can find it real quick. We bought a few little things. My wife bought a couple of things, but she took her stuff out. Um, yeah, it was 19.99. Got eight bucks off, 40% off. So I ended up paying 11 bucks for this shirt. And it's nothing too crazy, but you know, summer vibes, gotta get a, gotta get some white tees because I have too many black tees and gray tees. And it just says Texas and Levi's. So if I'm somewhere else or if I go to Michigan this year, I'll be able to rock that. And those are basic, the basic pickups from Levi's. We got an empty big bag right here. Let me actually put this up so I won't leave this up here. One sec. Whew. All right, they didn't want to go back in the bag, but I got them back in the bag. Now the Nike, what did I get at the Nike outlet? I know y'all wondering, we'll pull this shoe box out. Oh, oh, yeah, I saw a little bit of it. But let's go over the other pickups, which were nothing too crazy. Uh, let's see, I'll just tell you what I got before I pull them out. I got a shirt, it was 17 bucks. And these shorts were 27 with the discounts. So I didn't think it was too bad of a deal. Shorts, I got like the fleece shorts. You see the back, it's just all white. It does have the pocket. And it has that Jumpman Air on the side. Right there in red. It's a white and red. I know white shorts are gonna be hard to keep clean, but it is what it is. I don't really have white shorts. That's probably for a reason, but I picked those up because I like them. And then this shirt caught my eye, so I ended up picking it up. I probably could have waited. It'll probably hit the rack eventually, as most of the Jordan shorts shirts do. But uh, it has that, that logo on it, as y'all can see right there. And I just like the color on it, so I ended up picking that up. And especially when it was on sale, I mean, can't really beat it now the one thing that I did pick up they really didn't have anything that I was trying to cop personally I did try a couple pairs on 
but then I thought about it a little bit more and I said it would have just been like a like an impulse buy so I held off on that and I'll see the big Nike box comment down below if, if you think you know what it is this came from the back just to let you know this was not in the video so yeah if you haven't checked out that Nike outlet video I'll link it up right here so y'all could check it out and uh, appreciate all the love that y'all been showing on that video I think it was like around 2300 views plus and I did get this in my size, size 12. It does have that 11 type box. The Zoom LeBron 3 Quick Strike. Retail is 175. Colorway is white, midnight, navy. Now I'm not doing a review on the shoe or nothing like that. Yeah, I know I ain't the LeBron, biggest LeBron fan. When you can find something for under retail, brand new, maybe try it on because I saw the bottoms look just a little bit dirty, but I actually already sold this pair. Made a quick, I think 40, 50 bucks, something like that. So uh, yeah, it is what it is. Made a little bit to compensate for what I spent at Levi's and the other little stuff. Just that's the way I think about it. And I didn't want to leave that pair in there. I knew somebody's gonna pick them up. Somebody be interested in this pair, especially since there's a lot of LeBron fans. Um, and under retail, I mean, I sold them under retail as well. I think I sold them for like 160. But they were 175, I got 30% off. I paid 122 for this pair right here of LeBron's and it is a quick strike. So, I mean, I was I was happy to do that. They had a couple of other pairs in there, I think in, in my size, which were those uh, those sixes that came out. I think, uh, what were they called? Like the Flint gray sixes or whatever they were called. They had that, that weird leather on them. And uh, what else did they have? I don't think they really had too much else in the back. But they had a few things out there as far as clothing and stuff like that. They did have some good Air Maxes. I just haven't jumped on them yet. Um, but I know I probably will once they start hitting the wall. But yeah, guys, those were my pickups. I know it wasn't too much, but I just wanted to show it because that Nike outlet video was long as it was. And uh, I didn't even show going in Levi's because, like I said, I didn't know what I was going to find in there. But I did find a few things, so I was happy about that. Now on to the next subject, the Travis Scott 1 shock drop with the merch on Travis Scott's site. They dropped, did I cop? If y'all follow me on Instagram or Twitter, y'all know I did not cop. I didn't talk about it too much, but I saw some people got their dubs. I think uh, Retro Kid got a dub on it, which was dope. So uh, I'll see if you let me, let me go check them out in person. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're releasing May 11th, but they did an early drop on Travis Scott's birthday. I was driving at work when they did the drop. Me and the homie ETS Minor were going uh, back and forth, chit-chatting about what we thought it was going to happen with them, if they were going to drop or not. And it was already late in the afternoon. I was already at work. It was past five. So I was like, man, they ain't dropping a day. And sure enough, they did. By the time I got the J23 app thing, I, like I said, I was driving. I, I got there about 15 minutes too late. I couldn't even get the merch. I tried to get the shorts. That was the thing I liked the most, the shorts. And uh, yeah, I struck out on that. So comment down below if anybody hit a W on that drop. I hope somebody did, but I heard a lot of people took L's. Supposedly there was a lot of stock, but um, I guess we'll see. I'm expecting the L on the 11th, but if I can get a W for retail, that'd be great. Uh, if not, I'm hoping the prices on StockX and other uh, resale markets drop down maybe to like six, maybe even five, but most likely it'll stay around seven or eight, but it just depends on the size. I'm hoping since I'm a bigger size, size 12, size 11 and a half, whatever size is cheaper will make it work. You know what I mean? But anyway, guys, I'm not gonna drone on too long. The last thing I wanted to talk about was the bread fours dropping. I did not get a chance to do the on foot video that I really wanted to do, but I did wear these a couple times, as you can see by the bottoms. Wore them a couple times, guys. And the main thing I wanna say, if you're going after this shoe, thinking about doubling up make sure you do if, if 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 you wear your shoes a lot and this is a pair that you know you're gonna wear a lot because I've only worn it twice and the paint and everything's still good of course because I only wore it twice but this new book uh, Durabuck upper the way I feel on it it's already getting linty and I already got a little bit of creasing and I, I, I kind of am careful with my shoes but you can see the little Anything you touch, you start getting those little little stains and stuff on the shoe. Try to cover my face. But um, yeah, you can see that right there, like on the toe box right there. So 
I may try going after a second pair, which later on today at five o'clock, I'll know if I hit on any of the apps locally. Um, but there is other pairs that I want to get too. So I don't know if I'm going to double up on these quite yet, but I am going after them for my homeboy ETS Miner as well. And if y'all want, y'all could check, I'll link his, his YouTube down below. Y'all could check him out. He's chill. That's the, the, the little bro right there. Um, but yeah, guys, this is an anticipated drop. They already did basically two shock drops. The first one on sneakers. The second one was like that um, exclusive access or whatever it is. And people still took their L's. So hopefully you get the shoe if you're trying to get it. Do not pay resale. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to secure your pair if you did your due diligence. Going after the shoes and... Um, how do you say it? Going after the shoes, doing your check-in on the apps, getting your full 10 minutes. You should be able to secure your pair. And they won't be going for much over retail initially, but I feel like they will go up over time as any shoe does when it's harder to find the shoe new. But yeah, I just wanted to put my two cents in on that and let y'all know I didn't take no, no dub on the Travis Scott ones. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I ain't trying to talk your ear off. Just wanted to chop it up with y'all. Sorry for the absence. I was supposed to record this on Monday. But the way my job has been, man, I've been waking up all dazed out and then just going to work. And basically, yeah, before I knew it, it's already Thursday. But I'm going to get at you tomorrow. I got a little something planned for tomorrow. Not exactly sure which video I'm going to drop, but stay tuned for that. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for rocking with the channel and hitting that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you too can be part of that 2 and 0 Guy Kicks fam. But it's your boy Tony with 2 and 0 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Peace, guys, to the next one.